My lab is the Solar Energy Conversion and Spectroscopy Group, or SolarSpec for short. We use advanced optical methods to better understand what happens inside of the materials used in solar energy. We are studying how fast are the productive and unproductive steps in these materials to help us design better ones and develop a cost-effective technology for the production of sustainable energy. My students and I are very motivated to be part of a large community working towards finding ways to generate sustainable energy and tackle the climate emergency. ChemCom is a widely recognized journal which gets exposure and its publisher, the Royal Society of Chemistry, has a long-standing reputation of high quality. I was thrilled to be invited to contribute an article to their Emerging Investigators issue which recognizes up-and-coming scientists. This article looks at what experimental methods have been used to study a type of solar energy conversion system called carbon nitride heterojunctions. Carbon nitride is an inexpensive organic polymer that is showing very promising activity for the production of solar hydrogen. A heterojunction is when you take two materials and place them in contact, which can improve the way that charges flow to achieve higher efficiency. High efficiencies have been shown for carbon nitride heterojunctions, but we still don't always understand why. This review article provides a holistic view of what we know so far and highlights the fact that there are still gaps in our knowledge. We are currently working on a few different ways to control the shape of the carbon nitride particles. This has become a popular way to improve the properties of carbon nitride, but there is debate about what is the underlying root cause. We are using time-resolved optical spectroscopy to answer these questions. We are also excited to be adding three pieces of new instrumentation in the coming months that will expand the range of energies we can measure and state-of-the-art particle characterization for an even better description of carbon nitride. I'm from the small town of Bathurst, New Brunswick, Canada. Growing up there, I had a broad interest in math and science, but I should credit my high school chemistry teacher, Louis Robichaud, for pushing me toward chemistry as my university major. I studied at the University of Ottawa, went to McGill University for my PhD, and then overseas to the UK to continue my training at Imperial College London. Along the way, I've picked up expertise in photochemistry and different types of spectroscopy, which formed the basis of my lab today at the University of British Columbia, Okanagan campus. The most important thing I learned along the way is that you can be a top, internationally renowned academic and have a balanced life. There's no doubt that academia is extremely demanding, but you need to take care of yourself. This has helped me go through periods of doubt along the lines of, am I doing enough, while raising a family with two small children. 